I'm talking to my commentator over here. Production. You're right. You're right. Production. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. No. Who, who's this guy? Who, who's this guy? I don't know. You know? I guess we'll find out. That is actually one word, but you know. We'll leave it You know that's supposed to be one word, right? Dash dance end? Oh, this is what, This is one of Dan's favorite matchups. This is one of Dan's favorite matchups because you can do whatever you want to Gandor forever. Oh, and, yeah. and there's no way he can get out. Yeah, yeah, you got it. So yeah, we, as much as some Ganders claim they like this matchup, it's uh, it's pretty much a struggle. Yeah. You get danced around all day, like you were saying. Uh, Ganon, one of the characters that doesn't get knocked over by a shine like you saw. So uh, any punish that leaves you on the ground is going to be a heavy conversion. Should push you all the way to the edge and leaves you with stuff like down smashes or up smashes. Order shines off the stage. Oh, yeah. But Dan's gonna probably gonna have a little fun with it. He's pretty good at doing that kind of thing. Oh, well. Oh. Uh, yeah. For somebody. Yeah, lift him off the top. It's in the back of 114. Just, just because he's breathing off. <laughs> that's. Oh, hold on, hold on. That's racially charged there, you know. <laughs> hold on. Fox with his white jacket. You can see Gandorf, like, well, he's moving, Yort's moving really well. He's having a hard time landing an actual hit on Dan. As I say that, he gets a grab, but misses the conversion on it and gets punished for it. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, I'll have to say the only thing he's gotten is straight hits like that to scramble. Anytime he tries to set up the neutral, straight hits like that. Yeah. Anytime he tries to set up <laughs> oh. the neutral, straight hits from the edge cut. Anytime he tries to set up the neutral, it hasn't really been working out for him. He's been getting clipped a lot. But every single time Dan has touched him, it's been a, uh, at least like two or three hits, resulting in something good. Wow. Uh, no, 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 he didn't want that. He's just showing it off, you know. <laughs> he's just letting them know what's coming in the edge guard in the future. Are we going to see Bizarre Flame Jr.? Is that what's going to happen? Give me cat. Get your reddits ready. <laughs> oh my gosh. His edge guard. Yeah, that was a good call. And he's staying in the middle because he doesn't really want to give us the uh, position if he's wrong, which I think he should have at least played him in the face. But yeah. It worked out for a second. If he down beats, he should be dead. There it is. So, uh, I guess I'll talk about it after the game, but. Uh, ooh. That's Aaron Stage Control. Dan's kind of feeling himself a little too much, I can tell. He's kind of just moving around, you know, pressing, like doing random shine stuff just because one, as Gandorf is recovering. Not maybe not enough respect. I guess we'll find out. Probably respecting let's hop up there, let's hop forward air to go up. movement though is very it's very interesting. He's lots of doing uh, pivot shield stops and things like that. It's, uh, it's pretty good. Very impressive considering I don't think I've ever heard of him in Georgia before. I don't know, he might be a local. Mm. Or he might be from Macon as well. Oh from Macon, right. A lot of Macon people. Andy's know. kids? Huh? Andy's kids. Like, uh, possibly not. There's actually a decent sized group in Macon. I was Andy doesn't hang out with me too much, but I know. And they show up from time to time again. I don't really talk to them when I come here because normally if I show up, they, they throw a headset on me here. I oh, I see. I mean, I don't really interact with people too much. <laughs> I just assume that if I see anybody from Macon, you can flip them over, look at the, the bottom of their shoe, this is Andy on there. <laughs> That's what I figured, but I guess not. Wow, that option was. Really interesting. It looks like York thought, York thought the same thing. What is he doing? Oh god, I got hit. <laughs> Dan is literally doing whatever he wants right now. Yeah, as many nair as possible. He's trying to win the nair per the nair per minute challenge during a tournament match. But Ganon Ganon really has no answers to it. Ooh, okay. But he doesn't cover it. He stays on stage, he looks for a lazy high recovery that hasn't happened yet. That's true. Got another down beat, or we got a down beat. Got a one stock match, but it's, uh, it's, it's it hasn't felt like a one stock match, I'll tell you that much. It felt like that up throw up air probably should have ended it, but we got the DI on it, so we get a second lease on life. I don't know how many more we're going to get with that shield. It's just Ooh. pressured him into the roll. Oh. Oh. We're just going to clear out the fly guys on the <laughs> other side while we go to the game, too. So uh, one thing I was talking to Flo about, whenever he watches a Gandorf player and they get like they get they put they get into an edge guard situation, they just like they, instead of edge guarding, they'll just wave land in the middle of the stage and do nothing. 
that seems to be pretty common for Gandorf players for some strange reason. By the way, it's not winners finals. It's not winners finals. It's not winners finals. Yeah. Yeah, I, I was going to ask you that, but I was too busy actually talking about what's happening. Yeah. Why we have two winners finals here. Oh, oh here. no. Yeah. All right. Dan is absolutely feeling himself now. Now, if you don't know anything about Dan, you actually have to respect his balance. And another thing you actually have to pay heed to is where we're at. Because um, you're seeing it right now. If you're going to try to contest Bowser near the ledge on Yoshi's story, you get three uh, whirling fortresses to the ledge. So, uh, Absolutely. It's pretty dangerous to deal with. And I'm kind of wondering if York has much, if any, Bowser here. It doesn't seem to be the case. Like he's not, he's not quite sure what to do against a lot of the Dan's uh, admittedly very technical Bowser options. But I mean, a back air will do it against any character. So. Oh, yeah. He's got a little bit of a uh -oh. there, but he's oh. Dark Yo. <laughs> Didn't he just die like 20 percent? One fair stock. It's, uh, he, Dan got knocked out of his, his up and he, he didn't get touched the stage. So that's what happened. He slid off the edge a little bit, and he got knocked out of it. Hey, I don't want to hear excuses. I got results over here. got a two-stock lead. <laughs> well, well, that's what actually happened. <laughs> I think he caught him trying to move right there. Then, but, uh, neutral coming up, taking the respect, and yeah, we couldn't get an up or a jump in time to get on the ramp. So it's three to two. Bowser actually has a lot of tricks on this stage. So, um, if you let, jump off, do a neutral jump off the ledge just like by pressing the jump button, you actually land on the platform with no lag, and you can do something off, off the platform immediately. It's actually really interesting. So, we'll see. You see, you see Dan uh, use that a couple times, I think. But we talk about how Gandorf doesn't really have that many options in some cases. Bowser has significantly less. You can see the shield pressure from Gandorf being actually effective now. Very good uh, power shield grab there from Dan, running in knowing that Gandorf has to swing sometimes. Punishing him for doing so. I kind of wonder if you really wanted to roll right there if he was trying to up and just somehow flubbed it and got a roll. Yeah, it looks like. Mean, it would be one of the hardest ones ever, but something that crossed my mind. It could have oh, happened. There and, ooh, we were pretty lucky we both didn't drop off right there. I know York was looking to take the ledge, couldn't make it in time. Now he's trying to practice his deck on the platform. Probably not the best one, but if we get another up there, we get another two stock lead, I, I might have to fix my face. <laughs> Good roll, get away from the Google Claw. Oh, Bowser out of shield. There's not much he can do there, but I feel I feel like Dan lost a lot of his momentum after uh, he lost his second stock really quickly because it was it was clearly an accident. He didn't like realize what was happening. So yeah, but he has a pretty good memory. Um, he, he needs to forget it real quick. One of my favorite sayings, one of my favorite sports sayings, is the best athletes have bad memories. They have a horrible memory. Oh uh, yeah, memory that that down deep. Uh, I mean, he's still putting up a good fight. You saw him trying to control his face with the best he can through the up throw there. But right. Going all the way to the bottom of the barrel just might not have been the best choice. For him. It might not have been. He definitely, uh, he d that was, that was, ugh, that was pretty rough for Dan. Questionable. That's very questionable. He, well, now he cannot go back to Yoshi's. I don't think he'll stick with Bowser again. Cause I, I hope not. I, I I feel like he's gonna go have yep yep. So this is this is actually Dan's favorite matchup of the whole game because you you can combo anything into a knee for forever. Anything? Anything. Anything you want. Up tilt the knee? Up you up tilt the knee if you want. It'll work. Alright. On Ganondorf. What if I don't want it but I kinda throw it out there? Does it still happen? It still happens. Okay. Gandorf is like, please, I want the knee. He just lifts up his chin, like angles it towards you and please give me that, that knee. I need it. I just thought about it, because I don't ask you. Yeah. So Dan is having some trouble with uh, dealing with Yort's movement, actually, in the center of the stage. Admittedly, Yort is doing a very good job with his like shield stops and his uh, pivots and things like that. Or I don't say the pivots, but mostly his shield stops. But you know what else you might actually be having trouble with? What's up? The fact that Yort's not wearing a tag, so it's kind of hard to see Dan. That's racist. You're the one who said it was racist. I was just pointing out something that could be a fact to you. It is kind of dark. So you're right, York does have good movement. You saw right there. He ran off the platform to get away from the down air instead of having to block it. You see him running again. He's really trying to um, call the spacing with Dan. And it's working out for him so far. You know what, sir? You know who else had a good movement? Martin Luther King Jr. I don't take kindly to today. Uh, hate speech here. <laughs> but Dan firing back finally. Um, he just doesn't really seem to understand uh, Yort's like his movement pattern, things like that. Oh my God! What a very Dan thing to have done there. It, 
feels like he doesn't want to win this set. Rudan? Yes. Possibly, maybe. He might be trying to go get something to eat. He already got something to eat. He might be trying to get something else to eat. <laughs> second, second dinner or whatever it's called. Yeah, question. How, how often do you see again an up, uh, up smash? Um, not very. Usually it's a guaranteed like, throw setup or something like that. We can see, knee, knee to grab, that works. Knee works with everything in this matchup. How about this board? Did that still work? No, no? But, but it did there. All right. Definitely shouldn't have, though. I, I really don't know why. Dan, Dan might be pulling the classic Cornell. You know, <laughs> Win the first game as your best character, switch to a worse character, then third game a completely different character. Just because. That's the name I haven't heard in a while. Coach yeah. Came over the top of the knee with the four there. How did he know he was going to land up there? That was a real tight spacing, actually. Oh, right. Falcon kicked a knee. This, this, that worked. All right. It, 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 was, agree with it. it just did. And I think we're catching on to a little bit of the movement. Mm -hmm. Caught a wave, uh, wave landing across the platform, setting up that edge guard right there. Like, even though we're sitting at 106, we Still bring this back. This is still feasible. Absolutely. Wow, you're it might be a little harder if you don't make it back here. You're calling out that movement, calling out that roll. He's done that a couple times now with the down B. Oh, that gets a little greedy with that combo. Oh uh, yeah. Good heads up play by York to you know that he can uh, when he jumped over to come down with the back air and punish him for it. Is it two out of three said? Um I your guess is as good as mine. Mm. I guess we'll figure out after we get done with this. I guess so. Just worry about the spec chasing that's going down. Can't really get anything double up there just to make sure he can't uh, down air in. It's a good look about York. York got to do it one more time before there. Dan is, he's really, honestly, he's got to wait a little longer for his hits. York's like doing a lot of moving. Uh, and what he, He's only throwing out moves when Dan is in range to potentially get hit by them. So if Dan just waited out of that range and then punished him for throwing out the move, then he might have a different set here, but Dan getting very impatient and drops the set. It looked like he didn't want to win there. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. I, I have to agree. He looked like he just wanted to have some fun. He looked like he had enough bros for the day. Mm -hmm. He was content with where he was at. 